this one, the edge goes to sensor mode. And the reason for this is because while it doesn't really, it's probably not going to kill Dark Schneider, this is a tailor-made weapon to break his Dispelbound defenses and set him up for a perfect kill. So for that reason, we're going to give the edge to sense removal here because Dark Schneider basically has to make physical contact crash into the much faster Saga with the Exodus, which is unlikely. With all those things considered, edge to sense removal. Gemini Saga gets the edge at short range with sense removal. The tests are complete. And now it's time to decide who is the deadliest fictional warrior. But before the battle, one final thing must be discussed. An X Factor. Our experts gather to discuss and debate. As much technical difficulties, we are back. Yes, we're back. We're sorry, this is our third attempt at this, so... If this doesn't break the fourth wall, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, something new. You know what? We're outside, it's a nice day out. So... What the hell will do? So I find a prediction. What do you think? Well, I'm probably going to lean towards uh, Saga because although Dark Shiner is much of a tank, he he is just too slow. Saga can just hammer him on again and again and again. And Those galactic explosions. Yeah, but I mean a tank and his weapons can only go so far. It's going to take more than a defense to uh, kill Saiga. I think what this is going to come down to is the long range weapon. If Dark Knight can take out Gemini Saga enough at long range, I think he can win. But if he doesn't do well at long range, I don't think he can win. All the same, I think I'm going to keep my fanboy prediction alive and go with Dark Schneider, even though the last time this kind of happened with Speed versus Durability versus Galaxia versus Blue and Galaxia 1. I'm going to go with my man Dark Schneider, Dark Schneider all the way. I'm going to continue, even though I, I think it's going to, as I said earlier, I think it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to keep my prediction, so. I mean, I think what we're seeing here is Dark Schneider has this more of this one-shot, one-kill mentality. Saga is kind of playing chess with his opponent. It's going to be interesting to see how these different styles of combat come on. I agree. Strategic, always win. Yo, keep your mind open, yo. I, I think we've had plenty of times where we caught something that the opposite turned out. So, let's, let's go do the simulator. Let's go do it. Coming up, Dark Schneider, Gemini Saga. The Showdown. Oh, hi there. I'm James Morningwood III. You may know me from my law practice, but I decided to expand my horizons and decided to enter the adult entertainment industry. Well, I don't fuck the girls, I just sell the tapes they're in. And we have such classics as Twat Lies Beneath, How Stella Got Her Tooth Back, Ladder 69, Edward Penis Hands, A Clock <laughs> with uh Jurassic Park, The, the Da Vinci Load, Shiller's Fist, Good Will Humping, Playmate of the Apes, Harry's Penis Space, The Philosopher Moan. As you can see, I'm laughing because there's some great titles. Don't you agree? Uh, Black Cock Down, Whore of the Rings, Dude, where's my cock? Titty Titty Gang Gang, Bitanic, Honey I Blue Everyone, and Sex Busters. You know what? And also, we have such great customers coming every day, such as New Gingrich, Dark Schneider, I think he was just in here a few hours ago, Bill Clinton, Anthony Weiner, Charlie Sheen, Tuxedo Mask, Solid Snake, Darth Sidious, and Jar Jar Binks. So why don't you come down if you want some cozy entertainment or just have fun with yourself, whatever it is, we don't judge you. So come on down, please. James Morningwood Industries, located on Broadway and Cocker Ninth. I should add that if I'm not here, you could see my cousin and my assistant James Longballs, the first. Sup? 
The tests are complete. And now it's time to determine who is the deadliest fictional warrior. With special weapons, we tested Gemini Saga's cloth control against Dark Schneider's Judas Priest. For a special weapon, we have to give the edge to uh, Dark Schneider. Because it's a natural kill. Though the cloth is pretty impressive, it's not enough to produce a, a kill. Therefore, Dark Schneider gets the edge on special. Edge Dark Schneider. For mid range weapons, we tested Gemini Saga's Another Dimension against Dark Schneider's Black Sabbath. For this one, the edge is going to go to Black Sabbath. The reason is, Dark Schneider has defenses in his, while Saga doesn't have it. So, Edge Black Sabbath. Edge Dark Schneider. At long range, we tested Dark Schneider's Demolitioner gun against Gemini Saga's Galaxian Explosion. At long range, the edge goes to Galaxian Explosion because it's spammable and it's more power concentrated onto a single target and Dark Schneider's not going to be able to defend against it. Plus the speed aspect of Saga as well. So edge, Galaxian Explosion. And at short range, we tested Dark Schneider's Exodus against Gemini Saga's sense removal. For this, we're going to give the edge to Saga. The reason is, his sense removal has enough power to overrun Schneider's defenses. Edge, Gemini Saga. Now with all tests completed and all factors considered, only one thing remains to be done. Clovis the Shell with the Battle Simulation Program. You know the drill, and if you don't, we're going to simulate this battle 1,000 times to find out who is the deadliest fictional warrior between Dark Schneider and Saga.
there you have it. After running this sim 1000 times, Darcy Boy here won 543 kills. Um, and Saga only, well not only, but 457 kills. Meaning that Darsh won 86 matches more. This is one this this was one very close match. And the above all my expectations, Darsh Snyder won the day. Congratulations, you are the deadliest fictional warrior. Well, I think this match proves that speed isn't everything, and although it was very, very close indeed, Dark Schneider won the day because of how tough he was. And so, I gotta congratulate my boy Dark Schneider for a very well fought match. Congratulations to Saga also for putting up a hell of a fight and impressing the hell out of all of us today. Very well done, Dark Schneider. And go celebrate in the way we all know you're going to. Well, I guess, once again, I was correct in both ways. A, the Dark Schneider was going to win, and B, it was going to be a close match. So, congratulations, Dark. Darsh! Darsh! There, there, little one. There's no need for these waterworks. Didn't I tell you that the good-looking guy never gets killed? Next time on Deadliest Fictional Warrior, what happens when you take two of America's most elite fighting forces and put them in a match to the death? The Army-Marine rivalry explodes on the season finale of Deadliest Fictional Warrior, Full Metal Jacket vs. We Were Soldiers.